One thing I noticed when I got this new oven, this retaining clip is very tight, probably because the gasket is new and you have to loosen this a little bit and this nut also. Uh, otherwise, the retaining clip, I'm not sure if it's plastic or not, it will probably get damaged over time. So here's the results of my unfair comparison between the Sun Solar Oven and my own. Unfair because I haven't peeled back the blue plastic on the reflectors. And I do have shiny reflectors on my own, although they're not Myla or mirror-like. So it's a little unfair, but they are directly facing the sun and I've had it out for an hour. Today is not a great day for comparison because uh, the sun's been moving in and out. And I took a, a look at the temperature before. It is about 210 for my do-it-yourself. And guess what? This is about 215. So the solar, the sun solar oven is about five degrees hotter than mine. And they're both facing the sun at about the same angle. I tilted the back a bit. They're almost the same angle. So they are likely to perform the same way. And of course for my big solar oven, I don't have a leveling tray. And I don't plan on making one because if you don't do it right, you probably end up spilling a lot of food in your solar oven. So. I think I am going to try this one out after I clean it up because uh, people complain of some plasticky smell in the first few days. So I'm going to follow instructions and and try to clean it and, uh, and then I will use it. But the biggest difference between my oven and the sun is of course the size. This you can you can put this part in there, but probably not this part and the hot water uh, container.